everyone, and welcome to Babylon Leather's official channel. Today, we'll be crafting a large magnetic clasp tote bag. Here is the display of the finished result. First, inspect all materials. If any issues arise, contact Babylon official support. If there are no issues, please start making. First, take one of the bag body pieces and align its holes with those of this material. Next, sew from this hole to this hole. Measure the thread to be four times the length of the sewn part, then cut it. Each time, you can measure a bit more thread to ensure that there is more than enough available. Thread the needles. Begin threading the needle by passing the thread through the needle eye. Then, pass the needle tip through the middle of the thread. Tighten it, and that completes the threading of the needle. Thread the other needle using the same method. First, let's distinguish between the front and back of the pieces with round holes. The side with smaller holes is the back, and the side with larger holes is the front. Align the holes of both materials with their front sides facing up. Start sewing by inserting the first needle from the bottom to the top through the previously demonstrated hole. The second needle passes through the hole on the right side. Pull both threads to ensure they remain the same length. Next, have the first needle go through the second hole. Then tighten the thread. Be careful not to catch the thread. Tighten the thread, and now we have successfully started sewing. Then keep sewing with the double needle sewing method. After each stitch, tighten the thread while maintaining a consistent stitching direction. Be careful not to catch the thread. Don't skip any holes. Make sure to pull the thread vertically to avoid damaging the leather material. Pay attention to these points every time you sew. No more hints later. Sew forward as usual.
So normally until you reach the corner. So regularly until reaching this hole to finish. After sewing, secure the thread. Begin by sewing one additional stitch backward to reinforce. Then, pull the thread to the back. Leave a 3mm thread tail, cut it, and use a lighter to burn the end to secure the thread. Slow down to avoid blackening the thread end or burning the leather. Take a look at the result after sewing. Use the same method to sew the other one. Take a look at the result after both sides have been sewn. Take one of the sewn pieces and turn it with the inside facing up. Then take an inner pocket piece. Make sure the opening is facing up. First, check the holes. The inner pocket has more holes than the bag body. Start measuring the thread, measuring twice the length of this row of holes first. Then measure the length of this row of holes, double it, and that will be the total length of thread needed for sewing through all the holes. Measure the total length of all the sewing holes, multiply it by 4, and then thread the needles as usual. First, turn the body piece front side out. Insert the needle from the bottom to the top at the first hole, then sew normally to the left until you finish this row of holes. After finishing the sewing, flip the bag body material so that the back side is facing upwards.
Then take the inner pocket material and position it with the opening facing upwards. Align the fifth hole of the inner pocket material from left to right with the first hole of the bag body material. Then, take the needle from the backside and pass it through the fifth hole of the inner pocket material. Make sure to keep the needle on the front side steady while passing it through the fifth hole of the inner pocket material from the back. Continue by taking the needle from the backside and single stitch to the left through the holes of the inner pocket material. After completing the stitching, sew back to the hole where you started stitching on the inner pocket material. Tighten the thread. Then proceed with the double needle sewing method and sew forward as usual. Then reinforce by backstitching one stitch with a single needle, inserting the needle from the front to the back and sewing through normally. When sewing from the bottom to the top, the needle emerges from the gap between the two pieces of material. Then proceed to single stitch forward through the seven holes of the inner pocket material.
When sewing through the eighth hole, sew from the front to the back, single stitching through the inner pocket material. When sewing from the bottom to the top, include the bag body material in the sewing, then continue sewing forward as usual. When reaching the corner, continue single stitching the inner pocket material from bottom to top using the bottom needle. Then sew through the rest of the holes in this row as usual, and finally secure the thread at the back. Leave a 3mm thread tail, cut it, and use a lighter to burn the end to secure the thread. Slow down to avoid blackening the thread end or burning the leather. Take a look at the result after sewing. Use the same method to sew the other one. Check the results after both have been sewn. Measure the thread to be four times the length of the sewn part, then thread the needles. Start sewing from the first hole and proceed with regular sewing on the bag body material. Only this material is sewn, using decorative stitches to enhance the appearance of the finished bag. Sew up to this point. Sew up to this point. After sewing, Fold this material like this, aligning it according to the holes. Then sew forward together with this material. Take a spare needle and use it to secure the other end like this first. This will make the sewing process easier.
So until you reach the position where the securing thread is, then cut off the securing thread and continue sewing normally. After sewing, secure the thread at the back. Take a look at the result after sewing. Use the same method to sew the other one. Then turn the bag body material over like this. Take the bottom material with the holes. The front side of the bottom material is facing up, and the front side of the bag body material is also facing up. Align them according to the hole positions. Measure the thread to be four times the length of the sewn part, then thread the needles. Start sewing by inserting the needle from the bottom to the top through the first hole of the bag body, then from the bottom to the top through the first hole of the bottom material. Then sew forward normally to complete this row of holes. Finally, secure the thread at the back, making sure not to mix up the sewing order. Take a look at the result after sewing. Use the same method to sew the other one. Check the results after both have been sewn. Make sure the bottom material is exposed after sewing. The five holes on the left side of the bottom material correspond to the five holes on the bag body material. The sixth hole corresponds to the gap between the two bag body pieces. The five holes on the right side also correspond to the five holes on the bag body material. Measure the thread to be six times the length of the sewn part, then thread the needles. Take the bag body material with the front side facing out and align the holes as described earlier. Start sewing from the first hole, noting that this is the row with widely spaced holes.
then sew forward normally to complete the first five holes. The sixth hole of the bottom material is sewn separately. Then align the other side of the bag body with the holes and sew the remaining holes normally. After sewing, secure the thread on either side. Take a look at the result after sewing. Later, we will use patch material to cover this area. Use the same method to sew the other one. Measure the thread to be four times the length of the sewn part, then thread the needles. The two materials are placed together with their insides touching, aligning them according to the holes. Start sewing from the first hole of this row, then sew forward normally to complete this row of holes. Make sure the edges of both materials remain aligned. Make sure to pull the thread vertically to avoid damaging the oil edge of the leather material. Then, take one of the needles and loop the thread around it once like this. After that, sew back one stitch for reinforcement. Then thread both needles through the next hole, making sure to pass through the gap between the two materials. Using this method to finish the stitching at this position will result in a neater final bag result. Leave a 3mm thread tail, cut it, and use a lighter to burn the end to secure the thread. Slow down to avoid blackening the thread end or burning the leather. Use the same method to sew the other one. Take the patch material with the front side facing outward, and wrap it around the bottom material like this, aligning it with the holes. Note that the bag body material has one more hole on each side compared to the patch material. Therefore, align the first hole of the patch material with the second hole of the bag body material. Measure the thread to be eight times the length of the sewn part, then thread the needles.
Start sewing by stitching through the first hole of the bag body material with the first stitch. The second stitch goes from the front to the back through the first hole of the patch material, then through the second hole of the bag body material. Then stitch from the back to the front through the first hole on the other side of the patch material. Then sew forward normally, and for the last hole, sew only through the bag body material. It would be better to secure it with a clip before sewing. Ensure to align the holes before fixing. This area is thick, so stitching might be a bit challenging. Be careful not to poke yourself, and please be patient. Enjoy the pleasure of sewing. You can also stitch one material at a time, which may be more convenient. If the needle is stuck, wiggle it in the middle of the material before pulling to avoid breaking it. After sewing, secure the thread on the side. Take a look at the result after sewing. Use the same method to sew the other one. Then take the two small pieces of material and the two hex bolts. Then assemble them like this, ensuring that the small material is placed together with their insides touching. Insert the other hole of the small piece onto the screw, placing it in this hole, and then tighten the screw. Install the other one using the same method. Make sure both screws are on the same side for a neat and tidy appearance. Take the bottom pad material and the bottom studs and place the bottom pad inside the bag with the leather side facing up. Then, take the bottom studs and a screwdriver. Insert the screws from the inside out, place the bottom studs on the outside, and then tighten the four screws. Make sure to tighten firmly to prevent loosening during use. Check the result after installation. Then take the handle material and the shoulder strap material along with the hardware. The shorter one is for the handle, and the longer one is for the shoulder strap. Start by taking one of each item. The side of the strap and handle with the neat stitching will be the front side.
Place the shoulder strap on top of the handle, with both materials facing up, and align them according to the large holes. Then take the hardware and assemble them like this. Tighten the screws on both sides. Take a look at the result after everything is assembled. Ensure that the handle and shoulder strap are smoothed out and aligned properly. Install the other one using the same method. Tighten them to your preferred level. Avoid over-tightening, as it may restrict movement. The bag is finished. Appreciate your choice of Babylon leather. Thank you for choosing us. Wishing you the acquisition of valuable skills during your time here. If you've enjoyed our video, don't forget to like, comment, and share. For more information about this DIY leather kit, check out the link in the bio. Thanks for watching!